Welcome to today's presentation. In today's presentation, we are going to look at indices. So under indices, we are going to look at its application in solving certain problems. So the problem we have today is in form of a question. So the question reads, without using logarithm tables or calculators evaluate. So we have 64 raised to negative a half times 27,000 raised to 2 over 3, all over 2 raised to negative 4 times 3 raised to 0 times 5 raised to 2. So in this problem, the first thing we are going to do is to express some of these values in terms of their prime factors, that is 64 and 27,000. Now expressing them in terms of their prime factors is known as prime factorization. So for 64, we will have 2 multiplied by itself 6 times. So that gives us 2 power 6. And we'll also do the same for 27,000. So 27,000 simply gives us 3 raised to power 3 times 10 raised to power 3. So that is what we have here. Remember on the denominator we already have the values expressed in terms of prime factors. So that is 2, 3 and 5. So the denominator is not a big deal. So the next thing is to substitute these values in simplest form, that is 64 already expressed as 2 power 6 and 27,000 expressed as 3 power 3 times 10 power 3. We'll have to replace them in this problem here. So next we have the first bracket representing 64 and the second bracket representing 27,000. So in place of 64 we will write 2 power 6, just as we had gotten it up here. And in the second bracket, we will write 3 power 3 times 10 power 3, just as we had gotten up here again. So in order to simplify the numerator, once again, the denominator seems to be already in its simplest form. So most of the work is on the numerator. So for this first part, 2 power 6 raised to power negative half can be simplified further. So we are going to apply the laws of indices here. So 2 power 6 raised to power negative a half. So here we'll have 6 multiplied by negative a half. And that should give us, so we have it multiplied, and that is 2 power negative 3. The same should apply for this second bracket. Now, so long as we have the sign here as multiplication, we will have the power of 3, which is 3 here, multiplied by the overall power, which is 2 over 3. So 2 over 3 times 3, and also for 10, we'll have 3 times 2 over 3 again. So we'll have that as shown. So this second part here is here. Uh, we simplify it by simply having the power 3 multiplied by 2 over 3, and that is 3 times 2 over 3 here, and also the power 3 for 10 multiplied by 2 over 3, and that is what we have right here. So that simplifies to 3 power 2 times 10 power 2. Once again, for 10, 10 can be simplified further. That means we can factorize 10. Just a reminder, for this first part here, remember 10 was not yet a prime factor. So that's why at this particular point we are factorizing it further. In this step, I did not factorize it just to ensure that uh, the problem doesn't look more complicated for you. Otherwise, we would have also done that at this particular step. But let us now do it here. So at this particular point, instead of writing 10, we'll replace it with 2 times 5. So we factorize 10 and get 2 times 5. So the whole of this bracket here is 10. So when you express it in this form and then we raise it to power 2, just like we have 10 power 2, uh, we can apply what we applied in this step here for 2 times 5 raised further to 2. Remember 2 here is raised to 1 and 5 here is also raised to 1. So 1 for 2 will be multiplied by 2. And the power of 5 here, which is 1, also multiplies by 2. And that should give us 2 power 2 times 
5 power 2. So that the whole of this is written as 3 power 2 times 2 power 2 times 5 power 2. So I hope that is understood. Now on the numerator we have 2 power negative 3. 2 power negative 3 should replace this first part here. 2 power 6 raised to power negative a half. And then this second part here. 3 power 2 times 2 power 2 times 5 power 2 should replace the whole of this. Remember, those are the simplified forms. So that we'll have this problem here rewritten as follows in this step. On the numerator, we have 2 power negative 3 for this part here times 3 power 2 times 2 power 2 times 5 power 2 for this part here. And then the denominator remains the same just as we had it earlier on. So at this particular step, we can see that on the numerator we have 5 power 2 and 5 power 2. That can cancel already. Uh, apart from that, we can also notice that on the numerator we have 2 power negative 3 and 2 power 2. So when we multiply 2 power negative 3 times 2 power 2, we'll apply the laws of indices. So 2 power negative 3 times 2 power 2 simply implies that we add the powers and that will have as follows. So we have power negative 3 added to power 2 and that gives us negative 1 right here. And we also have times 3 power 2 and that is what we have at this particular point. On the denominator, remember the 5s had cancelled, so we only have 2 power negative 4 times 3 power 0, and that is what we have in the denominator at this particular point. It's important to take note that on the numerator we have 2s raised to some power, and we also have 3s raised to some powers. So that again makes life easier for us, so we'll have to apply the laws of indices, and in this step, 2 power negative 1 will, will be divided by 2 power negative 4. And by the laws of indices, division means we subtract the powers. So negative 1 minus negative 4 for these powers here. And when we come to 3 power 2 divided by 3 power 0, that means we subtract the powers and that is 2 minus 0. And the next step, simplified, we have, so this is minus minus followed by minus that is plus so we'll have positive 4 minus 1 that is 3 and here we have 2 minus 0 that is 2 so that we have 2 power 3 times 3 power 2 2 power 3 is 8 3 power 2 is 9 and that therefore means we multiply 8 by 9 and our final answer becomes 72 and that finally is the solution to the problem. That is how we apply indices to solve certain problems, especially such as these ones, for the case where you are told not to use logarithm tables or calculators. Once again, here we apply laws of indices and also identify where we can cancel if at all there is. Simplify further by cancelling, just like we had it at this point. We cancelled 5 squared by 5 squared, and that simplified it to this step. So, I hope this video was helpful. I want to thank you for watching. See you next time.